I made aspirin before. It's actually one of our labs. It's one of our first uh, Gen Chem 1 labs is to synthesize aspirin out of different chemicals, salicylic acid being one of them. So that's a fun lab. But uh, yeah, I can't say that I've made anything worse than aspirin. Maybe unintentionally. I know I've gotten a little dizzy from uh, chemical waste. My buddy Igor was telling me to stay away from pyridine. Pyridine will make you males go. So that was a very strong warning from my buddy Igor who knows far more about chemistry than I do. Your brother can teach me how to make shake and bake. <laughs> um, I'm glad to know I, I, I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what the actual shake and bake is, but your reference is not hitting with me, so I guess that's a good thing. It shows you how innocent I am, I guess. I'm a good boy, guys. I'm a good kid. I'm not even gonna ask. I'm not even gonna ask. I do not need to know what shake and bake is. <laughs> Sounds tasty though. If you guys have any, uh, ideas for like cool experiments legal ones legal experiments let me know that'd be really neat to incorporate them into next semester's labs uh, we also do a lot of labs for the high schools the high schools around here are very small and underfunded so they don't have science labs they come here to the college and i actually facilitate uh, a, a few different experiments for them so that they can learn the concepts of chemistry and be interested by the time they hit college you know Unfortunately, the interest and the peak interest in chemistry is going way, way down. So our numbers and our enrollment here at the school has been way down. <laughs> Nucking nuts, what's up, dude? Hey, I just want to apologize again for not uh, posting your video. As you can tell uh, from my content, I have not been up to the cabin, so I have not been able to incorporate the item that you sent over, which I still have not revealed to everybody. I do have the unboxing filmed, so if you want me to post that before I can get it set up, uh, I can do that, dude. I can, I, I'm gonna have a whole week, pretty much all week and this weekend to make busy content because I'm not going to be able to go up to the cabin so yeah the mods are lame why my, my mods are sick my mods won't do anything unless you're being disrespectful so as long as there's some level of respect in the chat then you got nothing to worry about Yeah, I even told I even told the mods to let the let the nonsense fly once in a while. As long as it's not spamming the chat or being disrespectful to me or my family, uh, pretty much anything goes, guys. I can handle a little bit of criticism. I can handle some lighthearted jokes. So, yeah, don't don't be afraid. Those won't get blocked. You won't get kicked out of the chat for that. Oh. With a name like that, Jack, though, you're kind of asking to get blocked out of a bunch of chats, so. Uh, not really working in your favor there, bud. I know I probably said it, but what do I do in the lab? Uh, so I am the chemical stocker manager. 
I pretty much manage all of the chemicals, all of the equipment, and the labs, all the and pretty much everything that makes the chemistry department run. Uh, I manage. I'm the behind the scenes guy that gets everything ordered, everything fixed, and organized, and all that good stuff. So, although I'm not a teacher, I play a very important role in making these labs go smoothly. I work hand in hand with all the professors here to pretty much develop and make the labs more efficient, you know? Minimize waste, maximize production and learning from our students. We do a lot of work in simplifying difficult labs so that they can be understood by the kids. So It's fun, I love my job. I really do love my job. I got that drip on today, you know? It, I might start dressing like this outside of work. Oh, he was talking about cooking up. Yeah, yeah, that, that will that will get you blocked or put in timeout for sure. That's probably what shake and bake was in, huh? Jack of all trades. I try to be. I try to be. I start off by learning as much as I possibly can, learning as many skills as I possibly can, and then once I get good at that skill, then I try my best to perfect it. And then I move on to another skill, you know? And I think everybody should kind of live that same lifestyle. It's always good to know a little bit of something. You don't have to be a professional at everything, but you could be good at a lot. That's way better than being a pro at one thing, you know? What's up, Pete? What is up? Where do I see myself in five years? Damn, that's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, probably not working a nine to five. My goal is to be completely financially independent in five years. Still producing content for you guys, whatever that means. Um, I would love to continue doing the cool builds, the off-grid builds, the cabin builds, but I'll probably take it in another direction. Um, my wife and I want to travel. That's one of our big goals in the next five years. So I would like to challenge myself and travel to new countries and new places, new climates, and see if I can build an off-grid cabin, house, hut, whatever you want to call it, in these different climates, you know? Each place is gonna have its own challenges and I wanna see if I can live up to each challenge and build something, something uh, something good, you know? Something like our cabins that will house us comfortably, uh, meet all of our needs, provide a place for our animals and all that good stuff. So yeah, five years from now, I, I plan to be financially independent 1 million subscribers on YouTube making amazing content for you guys. So hopefully we can make it happen. Also, my brother's gonna be in the big leagues. He's a, he's a professional pitcher, guys. He's 19 years old, got a 93 mile an hour fastball. Um, freshman in college, already has scouts coming to his games. So he's going to the big leagues and I wanna be able to follow him wherever he goes. If he ends up playing for the Texas Rangers, like I know he is, then I don't wanna be able, I don't wanna be tied to a job. I wanna be able to follow him and go to every single one of his games, you know, and just be the best big brother in the world. Any new animals that we want out at the farm? Uh, yeah, definitely horses. I know horses are in the works. We miss our horses dearly. Hopefully they're still okay. If we can find our horses, maybe they're still out there somewhere. That would be the best case scenario. And we'll take them straight back up to the mountain, redo the fencing. So yeah, horses, um, chickens and ducks are going up. We already have them, but uh, we're gonna hand them off to Will and let him try his hand at raising animals. So that's in the works. And uh, I don't know what else. Maybe some alpacas. I think I think we would like some alpacas. Exactly, Mad Monk. Um, that's the reason why she chose this profession. She wants to be able to take travel assignments and pretty much.
follow her. She'll be making enough money to where I can rely on YouTube. I won't need a nine to five. My YouTube income should be enough to fund all of the YouTube content. And then she can help pay for our living expenses with her nursing job. And then that, our goal, our five year goal becomes very realistic. And the timeline actually gets cut down to like maybe a year or so. We can probably be living this lifestyle within a year, not even five years. Let's see. Anything is possible as long as you put the time and effort into it. And uh, you guys better believe that's exactly what we're doing. What's up, Pharaoh? What's up? Does the building and Lady Lucky. Oh, uh, Lucky does the building and Lady Lucky does the gardening. Amazing combo. Yeah, honestly, honestly. I probably would never have grown a plant in my whole life or had any of these animals if it weren't for Lady Lucky. So a huge shout out to my wife. She has been one of the biggest reasons why we've done all the stuff that we've done so far. I know if I didn't have her, I probably wouldn't have the motivation to live this lifestyle. So yeah, she is definitely my motivation for sure. love the patience oh thanks i know it's it it sucks that a lot of the followers um i don't know if i want to call them fans because most of the time they have something bad to say instead of something good so they're really just following the journey and uh a lot of the people are disappointed with how slow the cabin progress has been and nobody takes the time to consider my personal life and everything else that i have going on and the fact that i'm purely doing the cabin for fun you know and unfortunately when you're as busy as I am there's just not a whole lot of time for fun we try to make time for fun too obviously we've been going on a few trips recently but uh that fun is more with the family and it's not at the cabin so the cabin has really been taking a hit it's been put on the back burner for now and I really hope you guys can understand. Oh, awake, dude, I, I appreciate that comment. The fact that you are trying means everything, you know? It's when you quit trying that relationships start to struggle. So if both partners are trying, then you guys will be more than fine. You guys are gonna be very well off and have a beautiful relationship so just keep putting in the effort every day and the love won't go anywhere you know so good luck i hope you guys stay together forever and make each other happy like we do for those of you in relationships or wanting a relationship just know that it is not uh, all flowers and daisies, you know, just like a garden, there will be hard times, but the flowers will bloom as long as you take care of it. People are going to hate no matter what. I know, I know. Learning that lesson quickly, being on social. A little hate's good, keeps you motivated. Um, a lot of the hate comments are not really hate, it's just tough love, criticism. And I have learned to take all of that and use it constructively, you know? So honestly, it's all in how you react. It's all in how you take the information. There have been times where I've been bombarded with hate comments and a lack of support on the channel and it's it's really bummed me out it's discouraged me from doing this but i'm so fortunate to have you guys who are so supportive and uh, if i if i didn't have you amazing people keeping me motivated i, I probably would have lost track of what we're doing here you know so yeah you guys deserve a lot of credit thank you for supporting the channel 
thank you for always being here on the live streams, even though I don't have much going on. Uh, it means way more to me than you guys know. So I, I really do appreciate you guys. <laughs> the pruning always hurts. I like that. But it makes the it makes the garden stronger. It makes the garden stronger. It makes the the plants grow. You can't control the weather either. There's, so there will always be bad weather. There will always be storms. But that's how you come out of those storms. That defines you as a plant or a person. You can either choose to be knocked down by the heavy winds and the rain, or you can choose to absorb to absorb all of that water from the storm and send it to your roots and make yourself stronger. Always remember that your mind has a lot to say over how your life turns out. And if you choose to think one way, positively or negatively, that's generally how your life path will, will end up, you know? So try and stay positive out there, guys. If you keep a positive mindset, positive things will happen to you. It's just the way things work. What's up, Ashley? Nice to see you could write a song with that oh my god I wish you guys have no idea how bad I want to start rapping and writing not even rapping I like just music producing music I have so many rhymes and lyrics and songs in my head that I just don't have the courage to record you know or put down on the track or I guess the courage is there I mean I you guys have really helped me to develop my online persona my presence the way I speak to you guys has gone much, much better over the past five, six months that we've been doing this. But recording music is a whole nother, whole nother monster. And then uh, all the music that I would potentially write would be very personal to me. It would tell a lot of my story. That's also hard to put into words. So yeah, as much as I would love to do music, there's just a lot of things stopping that from happening. Oh, I know it'd be really cool if me and Alex could collab more. Guys, I have not seen Alex in so long. I've been so busy. I've been out of town pretty much every single weekend. Uh, when I'm not out of town, I'm either here at work or working on something at home, tending to the animals. Ooh, look at that. You gotta dilute that. There's a little bit of dye left. Yeah, I'm just so freaking busy that I have not had time to hang out with Will and Jesse or Alex or any of my other friends in that matter. I'm actually not even supposed to be here right now. I'm supposed to be on the road home to Texas, spend some time with my mom and my grandparents, but I have some responsibilities that I need to take care of here at work and also at home before I leave. But with that said, uh, I will be doing a Texas trip this week and this weekend, so um, I don't know how much content I'll get out of it. You guys don't really like when I make trip content, I've noticed, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to post anything about the trip to El Paso and the upcoming trip to San Antonio. My brother's graduating from college, and I'm going to go to his college graduation in San Antonio, so I have the potential to make some really cool trip content. But every time I do so, I get a really big negative response from the fans. So I might have to cut back on, on that. I don't know. I have about four hours of Disney World that I could be putting out. But according to the community, you guys don't really want to see the Disney World content. So I'm not sure what to do about that. Now it's just taking up precious space on my phone.
Does every chemical get washed out with water? Yeah, pretty much. So everything that I have here in my sink is ready to be washed. Like uh, this says acetic acid on it, but it's empty, you see? So I could just soak and water it, dilute whatever acetic acid is left in there, fill up the bottom. See that? Whatever residue is left in there is fully diluted and ready to be poured out. If there was actually acid in these containers, like this guy right here, well, that's empty, but it had a little bit of tetrahydrofuran in there. I would have added it to the chemical waste jar before rinsing out the bottle. And I do uh, neutralize all of my acetic waste so that it can be safely put down the sink or into its designated jars. But yeah, I mean, before me, nobody was doing this. They were dumping hazardous waste down the sink. The school was at risk of getting a very hefty fine from the state. So I really helped come in here and clean up the act in the chemistry department. We've gotten rid of probably two, two or 3,000 expired old chemicals that were posing a threat to the students here, just being in the labs, oxidizing, creating rust and busted bottles, and a lot of them were leaking, you know. It's just very hazardous stuff, too, that I have gone through and gotten rid of myself. So it sucks that I, I put myself at risk for this very low-paying job. Um, every day I'm exposed to very, very toxic chemicals like this, for instance. You see the labels down there, bad for your health, very, very bad for your respiratory health. You see the thing there on the chest, and it's also very flammable. So this is just one example. I've literally cleaned and disposed of thousands and thousands of bottles like this that I've come into contact with. I probably will develop some type of cancer in the future because of this job. But a job's a job and I'm helping clean up this university so that somebody in the future that decides to take this position isn't so much at, at risk as I was. So yeah, I really, I really do love my job. I love what I am able to do here, you know? But I am ready to get out of here. Close the sink if I ain't washing nothing. I'm washing, I'm washing. Everything's getting washed. And it doesn't matter. I need to keep this water running because there's a bunch of chemical here or chemical residue. So the more water that runs through, the more diluted this stuff gets. Is it against the rules to wear a mask? No, it's not against the rules. I probably should be wearing a mask, but I can't really function with the full on face mask. You know, I can't see it gets all fogged up, start sweating. It's just not worth it. I've already been exposed. So it's like putting a band aid when you need stitches. Look at this guy. This one had concentrated sulfuric acid in here. This will eat straight to your bones. Cancer in 20 years isn't the same effect as watching your child and wife not being able to eat. Dude, for real, for real. That's why there's always somebody out there doing these jobs. So you gotta feed the family, you gotta keep the family fed. You gotta bring money, put food on the table. And uh, it's not always a nice job. I mean, there's guys out there risking their lives more so than I am keep their family fed, probably making less money than I am. So. Just be grateful. If you have a good job that doesn't put you at risk, then be grateful that you were able to get that opportunity because there's someone else out there risking their lives for less money. I hope I have a long run. So do I, so do I. I'm, I'm, I'm banking on the Iron Man suits to roll out here in like 10 or 15 years. I know my back is shot from the cabin, so uh, I'm gonna need an Iron Man suit sooner than later. So, 
my goal is to make enough money so that when I do get sick or when my body starts falling apart, I can just pay for science to take care of it. I'm supposed to be developing artificial limbs and biotech. That's what I started to go to school for. Um, I have an engineering degree. I have a biology degree. I have a computer science degree. And I was going to be a mechanical engineer. And, well, actually bio, bio engineer. But school's too expensive, guys. School's way too expensive. I went to Texas A&M to pursue that dream and I got myself into a lot of debt. A lot of college debt. And I'm still having to pay back to this day. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Even if I had succeeded, I would have had maybe fifty to $100,000 in debt and I probably wouldn't be making much more than I'm making right now, unfortunately, the way the job market is. What does that say? Money ain't even real at the end of the day. Honestly, there's so many millionaires and billionaires out there trading crypto, fake currency, imaginary money, while the rest of us can't even afford to make transactions. Can't even afford to buy food for their animals and their family. I, I, you know, one thing that makes me laugh all the time are the comments that say that we're rich. If I was rich, guys, I would not be exposing myself to all this. I would not be putting my life at risk. I definitely would not make my wife work a day in her life. So, no, guys, no, we are not rich. Um, I actually don't even have money. Uh, if you compare my debt to income, we're in the red. So, uh, just like you guys, just like everybody else out there, struggling to make it work, but maintaining a really good attitude about life. And when you do that, then you're able to live a happy and fulfilling life. So it's all about your look, your outlook on everything. If you stay positive, it don't matter what you're doing. People are going to see that positivity and feed off of it. And hopefully in the good way, not in the bad way. There's a lot of people that can feed off your positivity with negativity and try and bring you down. But you just gotta, just gotta have more ammunition than them, guys. You gotta be more positive than they are negative and you will win them over. You will make them a positive person and then they'll go live their lives and influence all the negative people that made them the way they were. And it's just as easy to spread positivity around the negativity, you know? Your job is being on a hot stand. I don't know, I don't even know what that means, bro. A hot stand? Does that mean you're a criminal? And then she got a, you're always in front of the, the judge? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, Will's got a premiere today? I didn't even know. That's how long it's been since I've talked to Will. I'm gonna hop off this live and support the homie because he has been huge in my growth here on YouTube and I'm always about supporting the Lucky Fam. So thank you guys. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you for being here. It's been a pleasure. I hope I got to answer some of your questions and I will do a couple more lives this week since I'm not going to the cabin, so. Thanks guys, stay happy, stay healthy, stay lucky. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.